Hey everyone, and welcome. Ever stop to think about what's really going on inside the brain of an AI? It's kind of mind-blowing, isn't it? How can ChatGPT, something built from computer code, chat with us like it understands what we're saying? Think about it. This machine can get jokes, write stories, and even explain really complicated stuff. But how does this machine understand jokes, write stories, and even explain complex topics? If that sounds a bit complex, no worries at all. In this video, we're going to break it down step by step using everyday examples that anyone can follow. You don't need to be a tech expert to get this. Imagine solving a puzzle. What's the best way to tackle it? You break it down into smaller, easier pieces, right? And that's exactly what we're doing here. To understand ChatGPT, we're going to look at it in three simple stages. One, how ChatGPT understands what we type. Two, then how it processes that information. And three, how it creates its responses. All right, let's dive into step one, understanding. How does ChatGPT actually understand our words? Imagine you're learning a new language. The first thing you do, you break down sentences word by word. Let's see an example. Take this Spanish sentence, Me gusta la pizza. If you're learning Spanish, you break it down like this. Me means me or I. Gusta means like. La means the the. Pizza, well, that's easy. It's pizza. And then you put it all together. I like pizza. Chat GPT does something similar, but at incredible speed. It breaks down everything we write into smaller pieces, figures out what each one means, and then combines them to get the overall message. And just like you get better at understanding language with practice, ChatGPT has learned by looking at billions of examples of text. It's had a lot of practice. Now, let's move on to step two, processing. How does ChatGPT take that understood information and actually do something with it? Imagine someone asks you, what should we do this weekend? Your brain instantly starts firing up, connecting different ideas. What's the weather forecast? Are there any events happening? What did we do last weekend? Who's available to hang out? ChatGPT works the same way. When you ask it a question, it connects all these pieces of information it's learned to figure out the best way to respond. All those little pieces help you make a great decision for the weekend. ChatGPT does the same thing. It looks at everything it knows and uses it to give you a helpful answer. Now, you might be wondering, where did ChatGPT get all this information? Well, think about how you learned everything you know. You read books, watched videos, talked to people, and experienced the world. ChatGPT? It read billions of texts from the internet, books, articles, you name it. And we'll dive into that fascinating learning process in a minute because, trust me, it's super cool. But first, let's see how it uses all that knowledge to actually respond. Let's jump into our final step, responding. How does ChatGPT create its answers? Let's play a quick game. Ready? I say peanut butter and... What popped into your head? Jelly, right? Peanut butter and jelly. That's prediction. And that's a key part of how ChatGPT works, but on a massive scale. ChatGPT is constantly predicting what word should come next in a sentence, just like your brain did with peanut butter and jelly. Think about chatting with a friend. You already kind of know what they'll say before they finish, right? Like when your friend starts with, you won't believe what happened, and you're like, oh boy, here we go. Or when your partner says, we need to talk. You know something's each troth. And just like we don't plan out every word when we talk, ChatGPT doesn't either. 
it flows naturally from one word to the next. So we've seen how ChatGPT understands language, like learning a new one, processes information like solving a problem, and creates responses just like a natural conversation. It's pretty amazing how much it mirrors our brains, isn't it? But here's the big question. Where did ChatGPT learn all of this? Where did it get all this knowledge in the first place? Let's think about how a baby learns to talk. At first, they just listen, soaking up sounds and words from everyone around them. Then, after months of listening, they start trying to speak themselves. First little sounds like mama, then short phrases, and eventually full sentences. With each try, they get better and better. ChatGPT learns in a similar way, but instead of listening to people, it reads billions of texts. And instead of taking years like a baby, it can process everything in a fraction of the time. This first phase is called pre-training. It's like ChatGPT's childhood, where it learns the basics of language by reading everything it can. But just knowing words isn't enough to have a good conversation, right? Think about when we were kids. Remember being taught to say please and thank you? <laughs> if you forgot, you'd get that look from your parents. You know the one. ChatGPT learns the same way. After learning language in pre-training, it goes through alignment training, kind of like learning good manners for AI. This alignment training teaches it to be helpful and polite, give accurate information, avoid harmful or inappropriate responses, follow instructions carefully. Just like we learn from feedback as kids, ChatGPT learns from human feedback. Remember asking politely for a cookie and getting one? Or demanding a cookie and being told to say please? Over time, you learn the right way to ask. ChatGPT learns the same way. If it gives a helpful answer, humans mark it as good. If it's confusing or unhelpful, humans point that out. And ChatGPT learns to improve, just like we learn better communication from our parents. So now that we have a better idea of how ChatGPT works, what's next for AI? What else can these amazing tools learn to do? Humans don't just talk. We plan, solve problems, and take action. Like planning a birthday party. You decide who to invite. You figure out the food. You make a shopping list. And then you actually go buy everything. This is the direction AI is heading. Imagine AI that doesn't just talk about cooking, but can plan a meal, adjust recipes, and even guide a robot to cook it. Or AI that doesn't just tell you the weather, but helps plan your whole vacation, booking flights, hotels, and adjusting if it rains. It's like the difference between having a friend who gives advice and a friend who helps you actually get things done. That's the exciting future of AI, moving from just chatting to helping us plan and achieve goals. And if you're curious about how these AI models actually think, plan, and solve problems, that's exactly what we'll explore in our next video. We'll look at some incredible examples of how modern AI tackles complex challenges, just like humans do. Did you enjoy this breakdown of how AI works? If you did, please give this video a like and subscribe so you don't miss our next episode about AI reasoning and planning. And follow us for more simple explanations of complex tech. See you next time on AI for All by Noah Harrington.